Hello guys, welcome back to the Killer Hearts Mercedes channel and I hope you're all safe and well. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a product review and this time we're going to be looking at the iCarsoft CR Max, which is one of iCarsoft's more advanced units. Now, if you've been watching the channel for a little while, you've seen I've already reviewed the iCarsoft 2.0 unit. If you click the link up here, you can go and watch that review now. So this iCarsoft CR Max unit has been lent to me for review by the guys over at LJM Car Diagnostic. Now LJM are the UK's only official supplier of iCarsoft. And I've teamed up with them to offer you guys a £25 off discount code for this unit. So if you follow the link down below, you can go and take advantage of that. So anyway, let's go and get started with this review. So the device comes with this hard wearing carry case. Let's open it up and take a look inside. Inside, under these straps, you have the actual unit. And on the other side of the case, this thick user's manual, as well as quick operational guide. Up top is the OBD2 cables, as well as a USB charger, complete with wall plug. So the actual device is here under these straps and this rubber screen protector. So the device is slightly larger than the iCarsoft 2.0 unit, which you can see here. So I'll just switch it on and start up the boot sequence, which doesn't take very long. Either side of the 7 inch touchscreen are these kind of rubbery grips or hand holders, flanking the screen on either side. Around back there's a handy display stand which will allow you to position it on a dashboard or somewhere meaning that you don't have to have the unit sitting on your lap at all times. For example clipping it over your steering wheel. Up top is the serial connector for the OBD2 cable as well as a USB charging port and of course the red power button. Overall it's a weighty sturdy device. Okay, so back inside the car with the ODB2 lead already connected to the port under the dashboard, let's power the unit on. After it's finished its quick boot up sequence, you're presented with 12 large button menus across two screens, with six being visible at once. Each option is clearly labelled and easy to understand. Starting with the main diagnostic button. Inside this option, you're presented with an alphabetical list of all the different various car brands from across the globe. You can use the menu bar at the top of the screen to filter between regions, from the US, European or Asian cars. As this is a Mercedes-Benz YouTube channel, however, we will be testing this with my car. The device also allows you to either search for your car via its VIN number or manually using the vehicle search option. Click on vehicle search, it lists all the Mercedes models out there, including their model designation codes. However, I'll show you using the VIN search function. Click on the read button and after a few moments your car's VIN will be displayed on screen. Next you can select the variant of the model, if applicable. After this, all your car's details will be listed on screen. You can save this information by using the save icon if required. Here you have the standard scan tool functions available. I'll run a scan now and speed up the footage as it can take a couple of minutes or so to complete. Once complete, all the modules will be listed together with a pass or fail listed in red should any error codes be found. A few moments later. It's detected two faults with my car. Reading the code it confirms that both the front door SAM units are affected. Now I'm already aware of these issues as my car has been retrofitted with the 2016 G63 door mirrors which is causing these errors to be displayed. Clicking on the error gives you a brief description of what the code relates to, its error code and if the code is current or it's historic. Clicking on the quick arrays will clear these errors out of the system, standard fault clearing functionality. So what you've seen so far is pretty standard fare these days across kits like this. But what makes this unit, the CR Max Special and so powerful is within the service menu. Within here you'll have a lot more powerful options such as the oil reading, electronic parking brake option, steering angle sensor adjustment, throttle calibration, 
the DPF or diesel particulate filter reset. Now I'll come back to this in a moment. Following on, we've got the battery registration for some cars which need this resetting when you swap the battery over, the ABS brake bleeding, injector coding, tire pressure monitor system reset, air suspension calibration, very useful on some Mercedes models, the air conditioning unit, headlight reset, body stability systems, engine control modules, transmission options, the airbag reset option, previously only available on high-end systems or styled diagnostic machines, seat module controllers, doors, windows, roof modules, fuel pump uh, option, air filter, engine idle control, a mobilizer reset, and a couple of extra features within the miscellaneous options. So after scanning your car, you'll see a couple of error codes appearing. Now instead of having to search Google to see what the actual code means and how to fix it, if you scroll across to the fault menu, you can simply input the code into here with this dial, you can actually search for the results. As the system is actually linked to your Wi-Fi, you can actually Google this immediately from the device. Now a couple of other options which I'll briefly mention, there's the upgrade menu. Now one of the most amazing things about the iCar, all, all iCar soft machines is that they'll allow you to upgrade the units to the latest firmware available for completely free. Now within this menu you've got the shop info menu. If you run a small garage or business you can fill out the customer's details and also add vehicle history to the device to keep a log. And you've got the user data menu. Now this is where you access all your saved photos and videos as well as access to the training videos, as well as a user manual. There is also an option to help you locate the OBD2 port on all models, should you have trouble locating the actual connection port on the car you're working on. Now you have the settings menu, all of which is self-explanatory, including the Wi-Fi menu, which you will use to get this unit online. There's the quick links, which is uh, links to iCarSoft, the homepage, or Google. Especially useful if you're sitting in the car doing this. And there's a couple of extra options here, including support from iCarSoft themselves. And for extreme circumstances, you can actually get one of their support engineers to remote onto the actual unit for troubleshooting, if you have an issue with the device itself. Now, as I said towards the start of this video, the system runs on Android. Now, by scrolling up from the bottom of any screen that you're on, just like this, you can access the device menu, so you can actually use the device as a standard tablet and download apps, for example, or even watch YouTube. Pressing the M button at any time takes you back to the main system once again. As it's an Android device, it of course has a built-in web browser and also the Google Play Store. Let's try and recreate some kind of YouTube inception thing by opening up my channel and playing one of my videos on YouTube within this actual YouTube video. Jokes aside, this may be useful if you want to watch a how-to or instructional video from within the car. So let's talk about my opinion of the unit. Now compared to the previous iCar Soft, the 2.0 which I device which I previously reviewed here on the channel, this is way more advanced than this. That's close to the gap significant between the DIY or home diagnostic system options and the high-end systems which most independent garages and workshops have, such as the snap-on tools. Now the sheer number of extra options that you get to interact with your car's various modules is worth the price alone. Talking of price, the unit itself is more expensive than some other brands basic diagnostic systems out there, but it's clearly a case of you get what you pay for. And I've had a lot of people out there asking me about the DPF regen option, the diesel particular filter. Now this unit can reset should you be getting this error. As a result of this, you could save you a fortune if you manage to clear the filter yourself correctly and safely. Unfortunately, my car being a petrol, I was unable to test this function out for you on the video. However, it can manage the following. DPF regeneration, component replacement teaching functionality, after replacing, the check swirl flat position test, and also clear the check engine light after any DPF issues. It can also run a test and adjustment for injection rates. 
Now another really cool feature which you can do with the iCarSoft CR Max is run actuation tests on some of the individual control units within your car. For example, say the LCD dashboard screens, lighting units, central locking, as well as countless more. Here is a live example of testing the instrument cluster needles. Select instrument cluster from within the control unit list, then actuation tests. Then select the tests of pointers to maximum position. Now running the test will make all the pointers in the dashboard move to the maximum positions. This includes both the fuel and temperature gauges as well as the main gauges. Not only this, but you can also reset any of the control units on your car should you be having any issues with them. Neat, eh? So one thing I do need to mention however is that this system, however advanced it is for DIYers or small garages, as I've said before, it can't be used as a replacement for the various OEM systems out there, like Mercedes own star diagnostic system. So you won't be able to recode all the deep down functions which those systems enjoy. Okay, so that pretty much rounds up this review. Now I must say, overall this is a fantastic unit. As I previously mentioned in the video, it is a case of you get what you pay for. So this is more expensive than the other units out there. However, this is extremely well built. It's a nice sturdy unit. It actually runs on Android, which, is, you know, I mean, it's just like using your phone. There's no lag or anything. And it's upgradable and you can install your own apps, etc. on it. Now the features it has over a standard unit are fantastic, which I've already gone over in the video. Um, things like the um, the DPF regen option is uh, really useful to a lot of you guys out there. So overall, I really do thoroughly recommend this. As long as you're happy to pay a little bit more for your diagnostic tool, it will last you a good few years. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, which does help the channel grow. And if you haven't done already, consider clicking on that subscribe button and bell icon so you're notified as soon as uploading new videos and content. As always, thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, cheers.